Cheating fiancé raises the bar on cheating. It recently came to the surface that my now wife cheated on me years ago. It happened while we were together on a weekend away with some of our closest friends. Soon after getting engaged, the person with who she cheated with was at the time, someone I would have considered to be a friend. He was not as close to the group as all the other eight to nine people we were with at the time but on the surface, I would have referred to him as a friend. Even more, he just happens to also be the brother of one of my wife's best friends, who was also there this weekend. We went away with some of our closest friends, all of us were in our late 20s. We did this together pretty regularly. We had spent the day and early evening drinking and hanging out. Then a couple hours after we barbecued some dinner, a friend and I noticed we needed to get more supplies. I was going to run to the store with my sober friend driving. Just before we were about to leave, I was made aware my fiancé had gone to the store with the guy in question seemingly sneaking off, when there was no reason for being secretive, unless, I was told he was supposedly sober and okay to drive to the store and she wanted cigarettes not a smoker but when drunk in those days she would imbibe on occasion. I remember suddenly being hit with the most uneasy wave of anxiety when I heard this. Not just because of the circumstances, it was a deep intuitive gut feeling. Have never been a particularly insecure, jealous or controlling type of person. Though I'm sure that changed on some levels after this. I tried calling her to make sure they got ice on top of whatever else they were going to grab. No answer. Tried his phone, no answer. Other friends also tried calling them to tell them to grab bags of ice, no answer. By then it was clear I wasn't the only one seeing a potential issue here. Uncomfortability was evident on her friends and my friends' faces after several attempts to call each of them failed. Everyone sort of slinked away, I'd imagine in response to knowing and or observing what was going through my mind. The realization that I was not the only one connecting dots here was unbearable, some dots circumstantial and some just driven by institution and too substantial to ignore. I remember calling her phone 20 to 30 more times and pacing like a effing weirdo on the side of the house we were staying at. Went from having a truly great time with my best friends to living in a bad dream with nothing to go off of beyond ignored phone calls, institution and the looks on a couple of our friends' faces when their calls were ignored also. She was gone for over an hour. The store is under 10 minutes away. Again, this happened years ago. I was recently made painfully aware that she did in fact cheat that night. Which she confirmed, by saying as much but playing dumb on the details and floundering on the justifications for why those details are too foggy to be disclosed. While that says a lot about her character, or lack of, it seems fair to say I likely only empowered her commitment to deception by taking it and not walking away that night. I confronted her when she returned he conveniently dropped her off and left to not have to face me slash the rest of us after what they just did. Getting nowhere in the form of communication that night, I proceeded to retreat inside my mind and consume tremendous amounts of booze and THC, trying to make this nightmare feeling go away. I will never forget waking up the next morning, her lying next to me and realizing that wasn't a bad dream. Also thinking, if my suspicions are right, this woman is the world's most sociopathic whore ever, doing what I think she did and then sleeping in bed next to me the same night? I know even though I forced myself into denial, deep down I always knew some bad sheet went down, but I turned it off in my mind. Probably as a weak-ass defense mechanism. We had such a long and deep relationship at that point, 8 years, 6 living together, recently engaged, she slept next to me in bed hours later? I couldn't begin to wrap my head around the concept that she may be capable of doing something so unfathomable that I chose to convince myself that the reason it seemed so insanely incomprehensible and ducked up, must be because it was all in my head. Over time convincing myself I remembered an exaggerated version of events for whatever reason. But in the immediate weeks after this I kept approaching her about it over and over. I was told I'm wrong, crazy for even suggesting it. To a point where I was told I am a psycho for making such accusations, that was the narrative from the moment it happened when she returned from betraying me so brazenly until days ago when it came to the surface. She even brought it up when we were hanging with her friend slash his sister, in the context of can you believe he thinks I would actually do something like that, 
come on. Using someone, his sister, as a pawn to hide her behavior from me and convince me I'm crazy is something I will never forget. She hid it from her friend until I found out for certain, if I was this friend she would be dead to me. After this, he avoided me like the plague and I convinced myself it was because he heard of my suspicions and him being innocent, he didn't want to get involved. He made comments to friends that he was terrified of me. Should have seen that for what it was. Ha, huh, wonder why? Scum. Worth noting, this guy was arrogant and a well-known womanizing narcissist. Even bragged about ducking prostitutes and having a very expensive coke habit. While sharing this will certainly only make me look even more unfathomably moronic for not running as far from her as I could that night, even though I was here for it it seems fictional when I write it down, this dirtbag even bragged to all of the guys when we were busting his balls hours before that he is in fact such a legit whore, that it's likely he is littered with STDs and or HIV from all the unprotected SX he had. This is the kicker. We jokingly shared his comment with my fiancé and his sister that very day, so she was well aware of what he said yet made a choice to cheat on me with him? The details of how far it went are unclear. I'm told by her and another person he shared the story with there was no SX. Yet while it's safe to say I'm a moron, not moronic enough to let myself accept anything short of them having engaged in the most vile and degrading forms of unprotected SX. If she was capable of doing what she did, it would be insane to believe she wasn't capable of doing it all. This piece of human trash is one of those cliched bags that embodies the stereotype of an elitist misogamist who thinks his money makes him above all others around him. His financiers being slightly irrelevant in this context as I did slash do well myself. Since I have been forced to face this, can't rationalize how someone who could do something like this. To their fiancé just days after saying yes? Seven years of living together? and be capable of moving forward into a marriage and still look me in the eye all this time, keeping this secret not to mention God knows how many other vile secrets? Can't think of any grounds for justifying the concept that she isn't slash wasn't or won't be capable of being unfaithful at any point past, present or future. My denial allowed her to brush it under the rug and she lost no sleep from that. Terrifies me. If a fiancé can cheat while spending a weekend away with close friends and do so in such a careless and reckless way that everyone there is uncomfortably forced to observe these red flags, don't know how to process this sheet. I'm seeing now all the things I thought were a very strong-willed person were instead just the traits of somehow who does whatever they want whenever they want with no concern for the impact on others. Especially when we were in our 20s, when drinking was involved. Any time she did something I didn't think was okay or even suspected something, not talking just cheating related, she just denied it and when denying isn't working due to witnesses and collateral damage just call me crazy, bury the memory until in some cases she may have even convinced herself she didn't do any wrong. I have struggled with depression and battled with the impact of gaslighting for some time. Don't believe in the concept of being a victim, I believe in cause and effect. I didn't cause her to do this, that's all nature slash nurture. I also don't believe in focusing energy on things we can't control as individuals. Yet I do have some ways to control whether I allow myself to be exposed to living a nightmare like this again.